Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, part 29, I believe this is. We're almost at 30, and we're already this far in the game. This episode, however, rather than continue along my quest, I figured I wanted to try um, finding a way to increase um, the amount of rupees we can carry. So I'm going to try to find some fairy islands, which are... Um, places where you can, um, get upgrades for your items and your wallet. Things like more bombs, more arrows, more, the ability to hold more rupees. Um, I believe I know where certain ones are. Um, so we're here. Two, three, four. I have a map open on my computer screen, so. Yeah, you might think it's cheating, but. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Down two. Okay. So we need to go southeast right now to find one of the fairy islands. You may think it's cheating, but I think I, I've played this game before. I just don't feel like discovering where every island is. But yeah, okay, so there's, um, you, I can already see it coming up, anyways, so, I mean, this one, pretty f easy to find regardless. Um, so yeah, in total there are, uh, eight fairy islands you can go to, um, or maybe six, I'm not sure. Um, some of them might just be fairy fountains, other, like, at least six of them give you items. I believe one gives you a bigger wallet, the ability to hold, a, like, 1,000 rupees, one gives you the ability to hold 60 bombs, another 60 arrows, another one 99 bombs, another one 99 arrows, and then the last one should be, you should be able to hold 5,000 rupees. Um, yeah. Um, for, you should, I mean, for all of them, you'll need, okay, like, just, if you want to go for all of them at the same time, you'll need bombs, you'll need a deck relief, you'll need a skull hammer, um, what else? Boomerang, or bombs, I guess. Yeah, that should be all you really need. So we have everything we need to go after all of them if we really want to. This one, it looks like we're going to need a bomb to open this. Let's get him out. That one, I don't think that one... Oh, maybe it did. Okay. You go away. What's this? Oh, see, now these are what I was talking about, I think, in a previous episode. Um, here's one of the Kokori and a little, um, what looks like a tree. Doesn't look too healthy. What you basically need to do is go to the forest haven, get water from the fountain where the Deku tree is growing, and then come back here within a certain time limit and sprinkle it on the tree and it will grow healthy and if you keep, if you do that for all of the trees that they have hidden throughout the throughout the uh, the ocean I think you get something I'm not quite sure what it is I forget hello little fairy that turns into a great fairy that looks like the puppet that the queen fairy had or princess fairy whatever it was young waker of the winds allow me to aid you in your quest this should give us something. What does it do? Ah, see, this one gives us the ability to carry more bombs. We can now carry a maximum of 60 wherever we go. And now, um, every time we go to this fountain, there will be fairies for us, and we can capture them. So there's really no more need to capture fairies before boss. You can always come here. 
Alright, so then our next our next ferry should be so we're in this square. Down one, two over, in this square right here. So um I wonder if there's a warp near there. down one square and then set the thing for east, set the wind direction for east. Oh, and there's Orion, the constellation. I don't know if you saw it right before we warped. I don't know if you're really ever interested in, in stars, you're probably like, Kodo, enough with stars. Oh wait, um, wait, I'm completely forgetting this. Up, oh, side, side, okay. East we go. That should take us to the next fairy fountain. Or next great fairy or whatever, I think. Either fairy fountain or I don't know. Something's over here that has to do with fairies, because according to this map that I'm looking at on my screen, Kodo, you cheater! <laughs> All right, so we're at seven minutes. All right, where are we at? Right there. All righty. Um, okay. Should be a fairy fountain over here. I think that's that big pointy island in the distance is where we need to go. Yeah, that's definitely it. Ah! Almost got caught in that thing. And now there's a shark following me. I thought there was a shark. Sound I got music like there was a shark. Anyways. I'll probably skip ahead. So, see you in a minute. Welcome back, YouTubers. Here, I've uh, found the next fairy fountain. Or great fairy location. Wherever. You prefer whatever you prefer to call it. This one will require the skull hammer. So just use that on those. Those little tentacly things will disappear. By the way, it's on this. For those of you who didn't see, it's on this uh, sector right here. Um, I would normally find the fish guy to map these locations as well, but I'm feeling a little lazy at, this, at the moment. Um, you can always just go back and look at the episode, or you can look it up online, you know, it's kind of what I did. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quests. Come on, rupee bag, your wallet, or whatever you call it. Thing that lets me hold a thousand rupees. Oh, arrows. Well, that works, I suppose. You can carry 60 arrows wherever you go now. So that should help me out quite a bit when it comes to running out of arrows. Head back to the surface, and we will head to the next fairy fountain, which is where? Um, alright, I think I, I know where it is. Oh, hey, it's a pirate ship. Well, not pirate ship, but stay away from my boat. I wonder if it's possible to, like, jump on one of those things. Um, 
Goku. Where should they head next? The next fairy island I'm going to go to is one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. In this square right here. That's the next fairy location that I'm going to check out. So let's see if there's a warp nearby there. There should be. In fact, I think there's a warp that takes us right to it. Yeah. There should be a fairy a fairy island right as we get there, so I probably I shouldn't have to skip ahead. If we find the bigger wallet, then I'll continue on to our next temple without delay. Yeah, there's a fairy island right here. The wind doesn't want to agree with me right now. But anyways, swim link. Does this one need anything to go into? I think you need fire arrows to go on this one. Or flames. Okay, that's handy. Especially since I have a full rupee bag or wallet. Another fairy. Give me my rupee, my wallet. Young white girl, the winds allow me to aid you in your quest. Okay, same thing that all the other ones say. This should be the big wallet. Yes. Oh no. Okay. More bombs. Now I can carry 99 bombs. Okay. Alrighty then. Well. Okay, I guess I gotta go check out. More fairy locations! Oh, where's my boat? Over there. And it's turning to morning again. So. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to look at my, my uh, time for a second. King of Red Lions is sleepy! Okay, so our next fairy location is one, one square beneath us, so we need to go south. Um, I don't think this is a normal fairy island like these ones, I'm not 100% sure. I just know what's in the square beneath us on our map. Um, should be easy to narrow it down. Might be that island right there, actually. Should be. Quite possibly. <laughs> Gone. the fairy! Some seagulls joining us on our journey. And jump in makes it run away. Is this it? I'm not sure this is it. I don't know why a fairy would be here. Maybe it's behind this island. Should I check out this island anyway? What do you guys think? Go check it out. Um, yeah, I'll check it out. Because there doesn't seem really to be anything in that direction aside from. Oh, come on, 
time you can do it. If you're traveling against the wind, it helps a little bit to zigzag. Because at least you'll still be su somewhat moving. Um, okay, is there a fairy in here? Somewhere? Maybe? No? Yes, no, maybe? Um, it might not be one. I might have just doomed myself. And there should be. Okay, I don't think it's in this location, though. So, I'm going to warp. Where should I warp? Um, I'll decide once I see the warp locations. Alrighty, so... Outset. Um. Yeah, okay, I'll head to that one. Because I think I know how to get into that one. And actually, I think once I discover the location, once I show you guys where this one is located. I will end the episode. So, yeah. There is actually a fairy fountain here on outset. Which should be pretty easy to get to. You just gotta go up a little bit. Actually, I think this might be the one with the wallet. Might just be. It's inside of the woods. I think. I'm not sure if I visited this one or not. There's two possible places where the where it could be on this island. I know, I don't need that. Okay. So two possible locations. Um, next episode, I'll show you. I mean, if this isn't it, uh, it's great. We gotta fly across to it. Um, if you look, I don't know if you can see it, if you look over there, there's a little stone head. That could be it, if I remember right. That could be it, or um, where I'm thinking right now could be it. Let's make sure the wind's blowing in the right direction. Down. Just float across to it, and that should be all we need to do to get there. Alright. And, you know, actually, next episode, I'm gonna go to Orca as well and. Darn it, headphones. I'm gonna go to Orca as well and see if I have enough Knight's Crest to, to do the thing that he wants to do. Jeez, this place has become dangerous since we were here last. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Underneath this big rock... Oh, darn it. ...is the next fairy location, I believe. I believe this is the next fairy location. Not 100% sure on that. Yeah, this is a fairy location, not... Okay. So there's three things I need to do on the island before we go. Including this. <laughs> but this will... this Like, after this will be the end of the episode, so... Young Wicker of Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. What are you gonna give me? Please beat the wallet, because I really need that wallet. I ran out of wallet space in the... 
the uh, the forest temple. Yes, there we go. Now I can carry up to 1,000 rupees. The fairies on this fountain shall ease your weariness when you grow fatigued from your battles. Come here, be refreshed. Okay, some more fairies. Alrighty. We could have gotten that a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't. Let's get out of here first, and I'll go to the next location. That one I need to go to. <laughs> Just float over those guys. Don't even bother with them. Wonder if I can get there from here. Let's see. Uh, if we don't run out of magic first. Can we make it? Can we make it? Ah, uh, yes we made it, okay. So this will be the next location that I'm going to go to. It's... if I can get my camera to work. Oh, it's a big stone head thing right here. So anyways, if you like this episode, be sure to leave a like or a comment. Or if you like the sequence breakers in general, you could always subscribe. Once again, this has been Kodo of the Sequence Breakers, wishing you all a very awesome day. I am signing off.